Conscious Reality Some people do not want to tell you that they no longer want you. So instead, they will show it to you. They will use their actions, their body language, and other areas to tell you how they really feel. Because some don't want to tell you with their words because they might hurt your feelings. Or they might think that you will do something drastic. Like kick them out the house. They don't want to get kicked out. Because they still need you for survival. Or for comfort. Or for food. Or for shelter. So they don't, they don't want to tell you, hey, I don't want you. So they show it to you instead. There are many ways how people show you that they don't want you. When they don't tell you what they were. And I know you might, you might ask, but why can't you just say it? Well, they are showing you but they act with the actions. Let me tell you, communication is only 7 or 8% vocal. Only 7% words. The other 92 to 93% is actions, behaviors, energy. So why can't they just tell you? Why? Why can't you see? Now, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You're probably thinking, well... They should be able to tell me because they're grown. Uh, they, you know, they owe me that. Nobody owes you anything. Yeah, in a perfect world, it makes sense. But they don't have to tell you anything. But if you pay attention, they show you regardless. Now let's talk about these actions that reveal to you when somebody no longer wants you. You ready? Number one, they begin to ignore you. They can't even see you anymore. You don't exist. They come home, they don't look at you, they don't talk to you. They don't do things with you anymore. They don't care to know anything about you anymore, how your day was. They literally ignore you. They ignore your messages. They don't text you or call you back. They don't care. You begin to feel lonely, don't you? Because you feel ignored. Number two, they begin to continuously cheat on you. They don't care if you know or not. They begin to just cheat from one to the next. They don't care how you feel about it. They know that you know that they are doing it and they still don't stop. They know that you're feeling the pain and you're feeling, you know, that pressure. You're feeling terrible about it, but they don't care. They do it in front of your face. They don't even care if you find out. They're done with you. They don't want you anymore. Sometimes people wait for you to leave. So they do things just for you to leave so that a lot of times they know that if you're the one who leaves, they can come back. They know if you're the one who leaves, sometimes they can't come back. So they push you for you to leave. Number three, they quit communication. They don't talk to you anymore. They don't want to know how your day was. They don't talk to you on the phone. They don't talk to you when you're at work. They don't talk to you when they leave the house. They don't want to know anything about you anymore. Conversation stop. They only talk about the things that benefits them. Like, for instance, something about the kids or something about the rent is due. Hey, I need your, your side of the rent. But when it comes to conversation with you, conversing with you about anything, they don't want to. They get quiet. Silence becomes their communication, their choice of communication, silence. Number four. They ghost you. When somebody don't like you, they ghost you. A lot of people ask me all the time, Kirk, what if somebody ghosts you? They, they leave for three or four days and they come back. What does it mean? That means they don't want you. When somebody wants you, they don't leave you. They don't ghost you. They don't disappear. They don't disappear. As a matter of fact, people will ghost you when they have someone else on the side and they don't want them to get caught. So they ghost you and come back when the you know when the coast is clear. And sometimes they will ghost you because they don't want you, but they just don't want to tell you that. So they just disappear because maybe sometimes you just too much to handle. Sometimes they don't feel like messing with you. And sometimes they don't want you that much. See, when they want you that much, they ain't nobody ghost you. It, it doesn't make sense for me to ghost you when I want you. It just don't make sense at all, does it? Number five, they keep going and coming back. Leaving and coming. Sometimes they would even make arguments with you the simplest arguments just to leave and come back they will disappear and come back 
they always come back. See, somebody knows that that's very disturbing and traumatic for another person to leave and come because you don't know what they're doing. And you worry, you stress. When somebody leave and come, that's the ultimate disrespect. Go and come, go and come. And this time, when somebody keeps going and coming, leaving and coming, they don't have the respect for you. They don't want you anymore. Because you don't know what they're doing and they don't want to tell you. You ask them what they're doing, they don't want to answer your questions. Like, why are you asking questions? They don't want you anymore. Number six, they disregard your feelings. They don't, they don't care about how you feel. How you feel is irrelevant to them. That's your business. When you speak about your feelings, they're ready to argue. Your feelings play no role in their lives. They step all on it. They disrespect you. They don't care about what they say, how they say it. Hurtful as, as they are, your feelings, they don't care about it. They tell you stop whining, stop complaining, grow up, get over it. Your feelings become irrelevant towards them when they don't want you anymore. No Number seven, you realize that they begin to belittle you. They come to call you names. They begin to, to, they begin to disrespect you in different ways. They begin to make jokes about how you look. They tell you, you know, they crack jokes about them leaving. Uh, you know, if somebody comes along, who's better? Oh, listen, man, you know, <laughs> you know I'm about to go, right? I mean, what if, you know, before to break up, right? I mean, you know I don't want you, right? I mean, you know that you're not good looking anymore, right? I mean, you know that you're ugly, right? <laughs> you know, with your fat self. Uh -huh. They begin to belittle you. And they might even put an LOL on the end, but it's still disrespect. And you still have the feeling, and you still know that they are being honest. See, when somebody begins to belittle you, that's, it's, a, it's a sign that they don't want you anymore. They don't respect you enough. They really don't. And when somebody don't respect you, they don't, they don't want to be with you. Because why would you be intimate with someone that you don't respect? It makes no sense. Number eight, they quit spending quality time with you. The quality time has... There's no going to the movies. No going to eat. No going to dinner, not eating lunch together. Nobody does that anymore. They're spending time with you, cuts. They have no, they don't have any desire to spend time with you. Spending time with you, they're antsy, they're on the phones. They don't, you know, they don't pay you no attention. They don't pay you no mind. They always focus somewhere else. They, they're texting someone. They're just not, they feel distant. There's no quality time. You begin to force them. How come we don't spend time? You, you know, you begin to, well, we don't we need to spend time. When you gotta tell somebody that we need to spend time, they know. But sometimes they don't care. They don't wanna spend time with you anymore. Spending time is a very important thing for any kind of relationship. That's how you build. And when a person not spending time with you, the building stop. They begin to tear down. Okay? Number nine, they physically and emotionally abuse you. That goes to with number seven. They belittle you but they begin to abuse you. Man, listen. Sometimes when people are about to leave you, on the way out the door, is when you see their true colors. Because they're about to show their ass. See, when a person is going or leaving you, you will know more about them in that moment than the entire relationship. Because when somebody is leaving, they begin to act up. They begin to become very violent. Or aggressive with you because they're on the way out. See, you can, you can tell more about somebody on the way out than you can tell when there was the only time that there was already that there was in the relationship. They will reveal their true self. They begin to abuse you because they know that they're leaving. They ain't coming back. And when you know somebody keep up start abusing you and disrespecting you, understand that person because you don't want to be with somebody that you disrespect. Why would you do that? That's like you taking the mat off the floor that you wipe your feet on to put over your shoulders because you're cold. It's the same thing. You don't want to hurt and disrespect that which you that which you love, or that what you desire, or what you want. And I'm telling you, somebody who keep doing that and who apologize is not is not honest. Number ten, like I said earlier, they can they become very moody around you. If you sneeze the wrong way, they annoy. If you say the wrong thing, they annoy. If you do the anything, they annoy. They're always moody. The moods are always change. 
They always they always frustrated or sad or angry around you. You begin to walk on eggshells. You can't even be yourself. You feel so you can't even speak what you want to speak. Because they begin to control you based on their emotions, their mood swings. They control what you say, how you say things. So you begin to stop talking. You be, you you stop you don't know what to say. Everything you say offends them or bothers them or angers them or annoys them. And that's when you begin to know they really don't want you. Listen, I list I just listed 10 things. People sometimes won't tell you with their mouths because you need to feed them because you still feed them, you still clothe them, you still, you know, you still pay their bills. So they don't want to say, I, I don't want you anymore because if, you, if, you know, some people wait for you to leave. They don't want to be the one to do, to, you know, to say, hey, listen, you got to go, I'm done with you. Because sometimes their ego won't let them do it because it's hurtful. So they begin to show you. Pay attention to people's energy. Pay attention to their behaviors and to their actions. You can't say that you don't know. Yes, I know that you shouldn't have to be the one to figure it out for yourself. I get it. But you have to be the one to figure it out too because this is your life. This is your livelihood. This is your responsibility also. I know they should tell you. That's not the problem. We all know this. Every time I make a video, there should be man enough or woman enough to say, right, okay, right. We all know this. But the truth is everybody don't do it. So regardless of how people should or shouldn't be, I'm telling you what happens. So prepare for this. People will show you when they don't want to be with you. They want to always tell you. Listen to their actions. Listen to their behaviors. And listen to their energy. You will always know. Blessings.